Item. SCP-001. Object Class. Thormiel. Special Containment Procedures. The containment procedures for individual instances of SCP-001-K have been mandated by Overwatch Command, and are to be enacted simultaneously as SCP-001's total containment protocol. Personnel assigned to different containment units are to be segregated from each other, and are only to enact their assigned containment. Access to the complete or partially complete containment master document is limited to level 5 personnel. In the event that personnel attempt to learn the overall containment procedures of SCP-001, or attempt to expose different SCP-001-K instances to each other, they are to be given Class V amnestics and removed from their assignment. Access example of SCP-001 iconography. A ritualistic symbol is and was engraved into the entrance of every containment chamber within SCP-001. The entrances are to be sealed in a room with a neutral atmosphere, and any damage to the seals must be repaired immediately. Damage or defacement of these symbols will cause the effectiveness of the containment chamber to gradually degrade over time to the point where the containment cycle will be unable to sustain itself. All instances of SCP-001-K in containment are held within SCP-001. Only personnel with level 6 clearance may interact directly with SCP-001-K instances. Additional objects within Foundation containment have been given Keter classification to maintain appearances of the object class. Instances of SCP-001-K are not to be released from SCP-001, unless the hastening of a VK class reality restructuring event becomes a desired outcome. If the Overwatch Council approves this measure unanimously, Foundation personnel will be contacted by level 6 personnel for further instructions. Description. SCP-001 designates the source of all anomalous artifacts classified as Keta. Documentation for personnel with clearance under level 5 are to refer to these objects by their SCP-XXX. X. Documentation. SCP-001 is a facility located within. Data redacted. Although its interior comprises of significantly more area than this region contains, the exterior appears to be a large, nondescript research facility. Attempts to document SCP-001's outer appearance in detail has resulted in conflicting and contradictory results. Attempts to map the interior have yielded contradictory floor plans. SCP-001's interior space is roughly equivalent to an office or military complex, with enough space and facilities to support 1,250 people. There are 755 SCP-001-K instances currently known to exist. SCP-001-K designates any anomalous object which has originated from SCP-001. All instances of SCP-001-K were present at the discovery of SCP-001, although some have since been lost. Each SCP-001-K instance is kept in place by another entity with the anomalous properties of each separate object neutralizing the effect of the other. When any containment cycles for instances of SCP-001-K are broken, the containment chamber will be affected by a reality warping anomaly. Interior spaces will begin to operate under a new set of physical laws, which conform to the properties of the newly uncontained SCP-001-K instances. These areas are hostile to human life and will begin to aggressively expand if other SCP-001-K containment breaches occur. Currently, no containment breaches have occurred since the 18th of September 1999. SCP-001 was originally documented by American mercenaries serving in Greece following the Second World War.
Once the anomalous properties became apparent, several organizations claimed control over the area, but the group was able to prevent SCP-001 from falling into outside control. Control over SCP-001 was voluntarily turned over to the Foundation in 1949. Data from this period of SCP-001's containment has not been recovered to date, due to the breach of several SCP-001-K instances rendering large portions of SCP-001 impossible to enter.